guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reacting to episode 15 of The Rising of the Shield Heroes. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. God, they're all so cute. Look at her! <laughs> Mm. Besides your dad. <laughs> I mean she doesn't she doesn't have a now, but you know when she meets now for me. <laughs> oh. oh. Now, see, I wouldn't be looking. Go home. Honestly, I just would have killed him right then and there. Like, seriously. There's no reason for us to go to the backstory. We already know he's an asshole. And he was probably an asshole then. I'm right, am I? So there's no reason. Just, you know, we could have ended the episode in two seconds. Killed him, goodbye, done. That's it. Mm, God, I do. I'm not ready for this. Cause, I mean, she's going to get hurt. She's probably, I don't even want to imagine how this episode is going to go. Hell, I think I said that last week. It's gonna hurt. Hmm. I just don't want to see her cry in this episode, but I really feel like she is going to, and I'm just gonna be like, you made her cry, you need to die. Like, mm -hmm. She's best girl, and we don't Fuck over, best girl, and I feel like this dude is just. Oh. Mm. I don't want to think about it because I might cry myself. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cry during this fucking episode. I, I, I just know it. I freaking know I'm going to cry. Mmm. Now you say that. Now you fucking apologize, but you should have did that then. God, I'm getting a lot of flashbacks to freaking Persona 5 with Kamashita and Ayn. <laughs> no. And let me guess, she's going to turn around, walk away, he's going to grab his whip and try something. You better thank God that wasn't a real sword.
Oh, well, honestly, he deserves that. I'm sorry. You didn't do it. It's not your fault. Exactly. Come on. Let's go. Do you want to go? Yeah, I'm going to go down there. I'd be surprised if anyone was down there right now. You going down by yourself? She was, but not anymore. I told you I was going to cry. <laughs> think so. And of course, treat them like all shit. Because that's where you stay. She's sick.
she passed away in her sleep, don't she? She's gone. Of course, you wouldn't remember her. She died. She died. I, I just know it. I don't want to see them.
You ain't killing him. Of course they would do this. God, it hurts. It's because of that cult, ain't it? You stupid. Oh, God. Oh, we got a minute left. I don't wait. Is it CGI? Yeah. Oh, damn. Mm, well, it doesn't look bad. I've seen worse. But yeah, I was not ready for this episode. Nope. Everything about this just hurt. Finally getting to see her past up until the point where she met now for me. Oh, God. Like, I knew I was going to cry. <laughs> <So> like, <laughs> I'm thinking, like, no, no, maybe not. Maybe just a little bit. But just, like, seeing it and just feeling the emotions and everything, I was not ready for that. I mean, if you did not cry during this episode, there's something wrong with you. It, it just, you gotta cry, because it's Rav Talia, and just thinking about her past, she's best girl! Mm -mm. And there's gonna, there's gonna be somebody in my comments that's like, I didn't cry, and I'm just gonna be like, no, it's not the time, like, honestly. <laughs> oh, God. I just need some more tissues. I, I, I need to just, mm, 
that was too much. I, I really wasn't ready for that. But honestly, I'm glad that it finally happened because I had so many questions wondering about her past and if we were ever going to get it answered. And finally we did, but I just wish her friend made it. I mean, in my heart, I thought she was going to die as a little kid, but for her to grow up as an adult and die as an adult, but not able to see Natalia again, was like one of the hardest things ever. And she possibly does have regrets about it, but you just give her a proper send off and just make that promise that one day you will go back and make the village and oh god I just I, I need to go cry probably some more because this hurts too damn much like if you would have told me that this episode probably was going to be more emotional than I don't know any freaking anime that I've seen I mean there's been like some sort of online episodes that, that were emotional as fuck like any other show that I've seen like I don't know. I kind of got your lie in April emotional with this. And I haven't watched your lie in April in a long time. And I don't think I can watch that again. Same thing with Angel Beats. Or even like pastel memories. Because my dang boyfriend was like, yeah, let's go ahead and watch this. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, is this going to make me cry? And he's like, it might. And just, yeah. Mm -hmm, tear jerk fest. Like, no. Mm-mm. mm, -mm, mm, -mm. <laughs> No, that's why sometimes I can't trust people because when I ask the question, is this going to make me cry? And everybody's all like, no, 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 no. It's not going to make you cry. Like, you're fine. Like, mm -mm. And in the end, I start crying for some weird reason because of something, a character getting upset, something bad happens in the episode or just, um, Getting away from something. It's just, it's just it's so good to cry. Just, I wasn't ready for it. and mm -hmm. But yeah, the CGI dinosaur looks okay. I mean, it's not like... What other CGI? I can, can kind of compare it to like Attack on Titan CGI and then maybe a little bit of Kimono Friends, but I don't know. We'll have to see more next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Turf, episode 15 of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 16. Bye, guys.